All right, today we're going to cover how to install an external voltage regulator. My external voltage regulator, as you can see, is a Transpo Electronics part number V1200. So you don't use that pin, you don't use that pin. This one is your ground pin. Your ground is going to come from your alternator over to the pin on the regulator, as well as coming from the regulator to either a chassis ground or a battery negative ground. Whichever you prefer, it'll work the same. The first pin you have here, as you can see on the side, F is your field pin. Field is going to come over to your high output alternator, and usually it's gonna be the pin that is closest to the output stud that charges your battery. Your second pin here, this needs to have 12 volt power, but it's only with the key on. So you want to tap into your fuse box, for instance, and find a source of power that comes on with the key and then goes away with the key in the off position. So the regulator turns off, then your next pin over, that's your 12 volt constant. Your 12 volt constant can come off of the positive of the battery. In this case, mine comes off of a 12 volt constant power from the fuse box as well, but if you can't find one, you can run it off of the battery. That's no big deal. Before you start the vehicle, make sure that that little dial right there is all the way turned down. And then let the vehicle run for a few minutes, let everything settle, and then you can turn it up slowly until you get the voltage that you're looking for. These are pretty simple to install as long as you know where everything is supposed to go and why. Once everything's hooked up and you start the vehicle, these two lights should come on. If they do, everything's fine. If this green light comes on over here, something is wrong. That light should never light up. Other than that, you just want to make sure you use good connectors. In this case, I used 12 gauge OFC wire. You can use 12 gauge to 16 gauge. I prefer using a thicker wire. It's not gonna hurt anything. If you do use 16, it'll be fine. The connectors are pretty standard. As well as on the alternator itself, since I'm not using the factory connector anymore, I use these little connectors. That way you can slide them onto the alternator's pins. They're in there securely. And then from there, I'll shoot a little bit of silicone or RTV just into the connector itself here just to make sure moisture or something can't get in there and cause any corrosion. You don't have to. It's just better to be safe than sorry. 
But other than that, installing an external voltage regulator on your vehicle is pretty straightforward. Um, this regulator itself was purchased from Brand X high output alternators. Um, I'm sure there's a few other companies out there that sell them, but specifically that's who I purchased this one through. If you buy a Brand X alternator, you buy an external voltage regulator, more than likely this is the one you're going to end up with. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Hopefully this helps you out because there's not really many detailed instructions or anything out there to install this specific regulator. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.